What's up guys? Hopefully you're having a good day. Wanted to make this video to show you guys what you should be dressing like, how you should be wearing uh, your protest gear, how you should be dressing black block style. If you go out and protest, this is what you should be wearing. I'm gonna take off my jacket because I'm because I'm inside. I'm gonna put that over here. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, because I live in fucking the USA. So that being said, it's nighttime here. It's 7.35. But I wanted to go over quickly, and I'll leave questions towards the end, okay? So if anybody has questions, I'll answer them at the end. I want to go through this video so that way I can have a clear and decisive way of getting information across to you guys without you know, jumbling a whole bunch of stuff in between. All right. So properly dressed black block, pretty simple, all black, but a lot of people get the misconception. Maybe you can wear a black t-shirt that has a logo on it on the sleeve or on the chest. No, you cannot. No logos, guys. Zero, none. You cannot have anything that would, they would be able to come back and identify you at the end of the day. Another thing is that you'll need is to make sure all your skin is covered up. Now you see here, some of my skin's covered or not covered, but also here, I don't have any tattoos, but I have tattoos covering up here. So you do not want to show any tattoos whatsoever. All right, you wanna cover all of those up. Ideally, I would love to cover my eyes, but at nighttime, which most protests are happening, I can't wear sunglasses. I could wear goggles, but I couldn't see, I probably wouldn't be able to see so clearly either, all right? Another thing is, is a backpack, okay? You're gonna want an all black bag, no logos. Here I have a patch on it, so I can take this off for protest. This is my sake, all right? So I can take that off, it's all black. Now, you're probably like, where can I get this stuff, all right? I have listed all the items that I have on right now that I've purchased that I've worn on the web on my website. I've gone through the liberty of putting them on there so you guys can buy them off there for the same price as you would get in the store. I am not upcharging it at all. This is something I want to do for protesters. This is something that I want to do to help everybody out. All right. It's a community. We come together as collectives. All you comrades out there know what I'm talking about. All right. This is being said, you want to spend quality backpack money on a quality backpack. This is like probably like $100, but it's going to last you versus like a $50 backpack versus a $10 backpack. Anyways, besides that point, this is a little bit extreme. And I know that you guys are like, why do you need bulletproof armor? Well, these are level three plating, ceramic. This is by Hesco, all right? This is going to block five, five, six rounds. The bigger the rounds, right? The heavier the armor will be. This, if I were to wear it at a protest, all right? And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I put the lighter version in that only blocks nine millimeter. But what you do is you're gonna slip it up underneath here and there's Velcro that will stick, stick right under here that will hold this in place. This is gonna protect you from the bigger ammunition that is out there. It is vital to wear this. It's vital to wear this when you're going up against, let's say, Proud Boys. Or, you know, you're not gonna be in a situation where you're gonna be able to run away without getting shot. Though That's what you're gonna to wanna to wear. Regardless of that, it makes you fucking slow, though. It makes you fucking slow. This shit is like, both of these are 60, 60 pounds together, all right? So that being said, probably not the best idea to wear it when you're just marching, all right? You got your uh, ear protection as well. Now what I do is I have these carabiners right here, all right? These carabiners right here, sorry. They're lock method, so I can lock these in place and not have to specifically um, worry about them coming off. So they have these little latches on them. 
All right, you can lock it in place, you can unlock it. But I put these right here. You can get it on. I can get it on today. All right, so I'll lock that in place. And then I'll just like put hang this off one of these uh, carabiners. Now I have these listed on my site too, just in case. But it like makes it a little bit easier instead of like having to grab it in your backpack, having it on you, shit gets real. You unclip this gas mask, you unclip this, put it on, you're good to fucking go. So if you guys are wondering what gas mask do I have, I got, well, pretty high grade gas mask. Uh, I couldn't really tell you like the variance in, you know, one that is like, Let's show you. One is like this, right? Versus this, right? This, I got for free. This, I spent $40 on. Best $40 I ever spent. Wanna know why? Because it has uh, eye protection as well. Uh, better filtration system. This doesn't have any of that. And it's like fucking weird to put on your head. So, I would just go to the store. Go to our store online, you can, or you can go to any store, wherever you find this, buy this. Um, where I bought it was like $40 from a local shop. So yeah, I can get one for you too. You just gotta hit up the shop and I'll mail it to you. But regardless of that, okay? Sometimes I wear a hat. Sometimes I go like this, all right? Just makes it a little bit more discreet, all right? You can't the shape of your body, it changes it up a bit. And it might not seem like it makes a huge difference, but take into consideration when you're going, you know, down the street and there's like cameras looking at you, people are doing these things that might not, uh, you know, agree with the police and law and the law. The ca cameras are gonna like be harder to identify who you are because you got this now, all right? You got your, you got the little visor here. They can't see your eyes so clearly. Makes it a little bit better. It's just a, it's just something that helps just that much more, all right? Um, and then even if you go further, you could wear a black jacket. All black, no logos, guys, none. You want no logos on this shit. And you can see the inside's orange, but when I put it on, you can't see that shit. You can't see it at all. So, all black, no logos. The last thing, that I'll go over is an umbrella, all right? Now you're like, why do you need an umbrella? Of course, if it fucking rains, you're gonna need that shit, right? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. But yeah, this is to protect your yourself, the comrades that are around you. This is to do exactly that, all right? Say there's fucking people taking photos of you, filming you like somebody is right now. No, bitch, you can't film me. Who am I? Who is the pre people behind me? You don't know me. You, you can't film me. You don't have the right to film me. This is an easy way to get around that shit. Help protect people around you. You're, maybe you're trying to do something, talk about something. You don't want everybody else to see or get on film. You got your umbrella. Guys, you're going to spend $5 on this motherfucker to get an, unfuck, like, an umbrella. It's not that expensive. Now, if you're strapped for cash, shit, let us fundraise for you, all right? Let me know. Hit me up. Now this is not for everybody to just say, I want free stuff, but we will definitely help you out because we got your back. We got to have each other's back. All right. So that being said, $5, I listed this on the store too, even an umbrella. Okay. So you can fucking go find this exact umbrella and get that shit. And you can't complain. I can't find where to get this gear drawn. I can't, I can't find it. I got it already. Or you can find it yourself. I don't give a fuck. Um, and if you really want to play with some shit, guys, I got the I got the Chud Killer. I got the Nazi Hunter. I got the I got it's ready. It's on deck, bro. You wanna you wanna come face me? Let's go. We're ready on the game. We got the flashlight. We got the laser on that motherfucker. We're ready to motherfucking go. This being said. This is what you could dress like. This is what you should be wearing. Hopefully, this in itself provides 
I guess a more well-rounded perspective of how you should be dressing at any single protest. And if you want to go a step further, I got something for you too. All right. Maybe you want to be more discreet. You can, you can pull out the nine millimeter handgun, strap that shit on your hip, bro. You good to go. Nice and accessible. Boom. You, you, you done tread. You done Nazi. Police respect you a little bit more if you have a gun. I'll tell you that. Police will not fuck with you a little bit more if you have a gun. Same with chuds. What happened in Washington today? What happened there? I was about to shoot a motherfucker, bro. Tell me on that shit. Come fuck with me on that shit. I'll definitely make sure that a bullet goes between your eyes if you try to punch me. Period. You try to pepper spray me? Done. Self-defense. I'm coming at you, bro. Hopefully you have a gun too. Okay, ain't no pepper spray gonna fucking block me. And if you just want a, a little less, less lethal force, all right? Just a little bit less. Okay? You got your pocket knife, all right? And I got this shit too. I don't have the guns or the pocket knife listed on the store, okay? But I can list this one. Probably I can't list the guns, just common sense. But this shit, this clutch, MP knife, all right? It is retractable. You just open this latch on the back, retract it down. You want it back up, you just press this right here and it shoots back up, all right? Pretty cool. All right, simple. Okay, so we have covered all the fucking bases of all the gear you should be having at a protest. That being said, any questions? Now's the time. Now's the time for the questions. Now's the time for me to answer it. What site are you talking about? All right, so there's a site, there's a link in my bio, or you can go to www.insurgentsusa.com. All right, you can go there, go to shop, it has equipment, and you'll be able to see all the protest equipment there. The link is in my bio as well. You can go to our, our page. It's called Official Insurgents USA, right? You can go there. It's in that bio as well. I just thought I'd give you guys some education, some content to help you protect yourself. That's all I want. I want you to protect yourselves. I don't want you to complain. There's a fucking camera out there recording you and you all baby faced up because you didn't, you didn't do the, the research beforehand, the work beforehand to protect yourself. Guys, we need cameras out there. We need cameras. I don't care. We need cameras recording. This is what people in Paris are fighting for. They want the ability to record the police and they need to have that ability and you need to do your part by dressing up in all black and covering yourself all the way up. That is on you. If you get recorded without that shit, that is on you. Don't come back crying, complaining because somebody posted online and you weren't preparing yourself. Because if you're doing something fucking sketchy out there, you know what you should be doing is covering yourself up. When you go to rob a bank, and this is by no means I'm not condoning that these activities. If you're going to rob a bank, are you going to do it with no mask on and exposing yourself with all these logos? Or are you just going to, or are you going to cover yourself up? I'm going to cover myself up. All right. I need the strap them jaws for sale. <laughs> Anyways, I also have this watch too. That's a plush. I mean, not that you would need it. Just an extra, hey, what's the time? Oh yeah, time to fuck shit up. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You could be a little bit festive too. You could get this shit out. Where is this shit? You could 
you could get the, you get, I'm in the old out fucking south type shit. You, you already go, huh? Yeah, this is, this is the real hot now. You talking now. We ready, we in the deep south. We, we, <laughs> where the real black, black people are, where the real suppression was, all right? This is your voter hat. This is what you wear in Virginia, my G. Price, the hat, the hat, the hat, I don't know how much the hat was. I got it from like fucking a major chain store like a while back. I don't wear it because it has Adidas right here. Yeah, probably not the best. Not like you could tell though, but I'm preaching no logos, so. Anyways, hopefully this was educational. My guy, I'm about to check out that website. All right, I'm gonna, it's, I'll, I'll, I'll write it right here, www.insurgentsusa.com. All right, that's the website. Go check it out. Just keep in mind, we are still building it out. This plate carrier is not the cheapest, all right? We're gonna provide cheaper options, but you ain't gonna get like all this stuff that is on it. I personally, I buy quality shit. I do, because I want it to fucking work. I don't want it to break down when a month from now when I gotta buy a new one now because like maybe some shit ripped or tore it on this motherfucker. Like, no. I'm going to last for a long time. Anyways, it's a longer video than I wanted. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Go fuck shit up. Let's go. Keep yourself safe. I will see you guys later.